Well, if your hard drive has ever crashed, you know that feeling of panic that follows. It is difficult to rescue the data, but sometimes it's possible to retrieve it even if your computer has been burned or waterlogged. Tim Margeson from CBL Data Recovery is here with more. Tim, good to have you on the program. Nice to be here, David. Now, you've brought us some devices here that have just been savaged. This is the yeah. one I like. Let's start with it right here. This is a badly damaged yeah, what hard we, drive. Tell us about this one. What we have here is a hard drive that was burnt in an office fire. As you can see, all the electronics have been severely damaged. The casing itself is melted. You can't even tell what model hard drive this is anymore. Uh, this came into our office just earlier this year, along with several others from the same office, and we've managed to help these people out, recovering a great deal of information from that particular drive. Now, CBL has that reputation of being able to do that. I mean, burn drive is one. Uh, yeah. Another one was in Venezuela, uh, a mudslide, and it. Uh, tell us about that one. Well, the uh, the Venezuelan government, uh, their uh, uh, their civil. Uh, technical people, they had a mudslide go down and the actual civic department, uh, their RAID system that they had a large server set up was damaged in the flood. Now they were using SCSI drives, hot swappable drives like this product here, mm -hmm. uh, multiple drives within the same system, all covered with mud. Um, they were shipped up to us w uh, by IBM covered mm -hmm. in ice. Whoa. They thought that would help out the situation. Well, so they thought, okay, we'll freeze, freeze it, everything, and that will help. Right. Well, the ice melted. Of course. And everything becomes waterlogged. Now, this obviously isn't the same hard drive. It's nice and clean. Yeah. Uh, this is similar to some other projects we've done, but it's the same drive. Now, what's fascinating is that you were able to re recover the information, yeah. and uh, those of us who have gone through that gut-wrenching process and, and then the first question is well did you back it up well right right you know i mean that that's it's easy to say and we, yeah. we should and, and most of us do for important documents but i mean when something has been that badly damaged you're saying well how the heck can you possibly get the information how can you get it back and that's that's the key thing as long as the magnetic surface where the information is stored itself isn't damaged too severely we're able to pull off the ones and zeros and put them back together to create data again but speaking of backups, mm -hmm. this is a backup media called an optical disk. Right. Uh, this particular model holds one gigabyte of information. And a company in New Jersey was affected by floods last year. Right. Uh, they had stored these optical cartridges next to their server system. And the optical car cartridges themselves were damaged in the flood. About 80 of these were shipped to our offices where we had to clean and recover each disk. Now, it, it must be kind of like the people who examine plane crashes. I mean, this stuff arrives at your offices. Uh, I, I take it there's kind of like a, a clean room approach to us. There is. We this. do have a class 100 clean room where a lot of this particular work would be performed in. It's a dust-free environment. We can't have any more contamination to the media surface. Uh, let's talk about the situation from Belgium. That must have been uh, quite the uh, the pressure situation yeah, to say very, the very Very, least. very stressful. We had the Belgian government give us a call. Their Department of Labor had called. And again, it was a, it was a SCSI server set up, mm -hmm. uh, this kind of product. Uh, they had five of these discs holding all the uh, uh, Department of Labor welfare checks, which needed to be... All of the welfare checks all of them. for all of Belgium. Exactly. They had to be sent out later on that week. These were flown into our office uh, up in Markham on Monday, and we had it out on Wednesday. Ooh. <laughs> A little bit of overtime there? Uh, uh, we worked straight through. Wow. Straight through. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. um, what's the, the smallest project that you've... I mean, if, if the typical person... Uh, uh, their your, home computers your general home, do they they call you guys everybody uh, everybody calls us a anybody, you don't have to be a government you don't, you don't have, have to be a be. government don't have to be a large company enterprise storage company yeah. um, anybody can be affected by Murphy's law yes um, something like this is a little laptop hard drive that you'd find in uh, an IBM ThinkPad mm -hmm. uh, we had you know, a project come in where a nice uh, grandmother had lost data. Uh, it was pictures yeah. of her, uh, her deceased dog. Oh dear. Okay. So we uh, we managed to get that information back to her. It's just sentimental, but we yeah. were happy to help her out. But that's important. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, what is the what's you said that the most important thing was that the surface itself wasn't wasn't damaged. Right. But I mean, typically the average user doesn't know that. So I mean. What do they do? do they, they, they pick up their phone or they go to the website, cbltech.ca, right. and start the process there. But, I mean, what's yeah. the first thing they've got to find, determine? Well, the first thing we'll really need to know is just, is it a hardware 
problem or is it a problem with the uh, operating system that's affecting their data? Mm. Uh, most, uh, about 90% of problems are not going to be related to the data itself. People haven't lost anything. They might just have a problem with the operating system. Mm -hmm. A general computer store can help them out in that with that particular case. Right. But if you've had serious damage to your computer, yeah. you don't fiddle around with it yourself. No, prudence is the best yeah. course of action then. Um, what kind of rates do you charge? Well, that's just going to depend on the difficulty of the problem. Uh, you know, charges can range from as low as two or three hundred dollars for a simple project. Uh, for something very complex, it can get up into the tens of thousands. Um, let's talk a little bit about the operations in Markham. So you're GTA based. We are. Uh, yeah. And Markham yet you've is. got this tremendous reputation where governments from around the world, corporations from the, around the world are flying stuff in to uh, Toronto and then to Markham to, to get these problems treated. Tell us about the whole operation. Yeah, How many our, people? Are... Our headquarters in Markham, we're only 30 people in Markham. Mm -hmm. uh, recently this year we've expanded into the U.S. We want to take on the big market there. We've opened up two locations on each coast, one in New York and one down in San Diego. Okay. Uh, San Diego is a key area for us. Uh, we've also acquired uh, one of the best tape people in the business. This is a gentleman who uh, is an expert at backing or restoring information from failed tape drives. Again, the backup's gone bad. Yes. So yes. that's that's another whole, another part of our service now. Yeah. Well, at a time when uh, people are increasingly concerned about uh, getting the maximum value out of their system, mm -hmm. uh, you, you just can't afford to throw it away. And, no, uh, no. So the website again is is www.cbltech.com or in Canada here www.cbltech.ca. Okay. Tim, thanks so much for being with us. We'll look forward to your next visit. It's a pleasure to be here, David. Thanks a lot. Thank you. We've been talking with Tim Margeson from CBL Data Recovery. Time for a quick